You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off Hi, I'm Martha Roberts, and I'm going to show you the 3 2 1 trick for stopping epistaxis. So, what you're going to need for this particular 3 2 1 trick is simply um, a bottle of neosinephrine or afrin, depending on what you have in your department. You're also going to need some 1% lidocaine with epinephrine and some TXA. The other pieces of equipment that you're going to need are a pre filled uh, 10 ml syringe of normal saline with an additional amount of normal saline should you need that for additional irrigation. And you're also gonna need a little medicine cup and a needle to draw up your medication as well as a 10 ml syringe. I also like to keep some two by twos on hand, what we're gonna need for the packing and occasionally also um, some four by fours, which we will need for some of those bigger size nostrils. The next thing I'm gonna do is put out our equipment in our uh, three, two, one fashion, because we're gonna use three parts of lidocaine with epinephrine, we're gonna use two parts of our TXA, and we're gonna use one part of our neosinephrine or afrin, depending on what you had in stock. As you can see, I'm gonna draw up 10 mLs of my lidocaine with epinephrine. Next, I'm gonna draw up five mLs of my TXA, and finally, I'm gonna do about Oh, four or five heavy squirts of the neosinephrine into a cup. As you can see, I have my mixture here in the cup. This is only a little bit of it because I'm gonna save the other portion for my packing, which will eventually be placed into the nose. The next step of this process is to use the bottle that you have left over to suck back in the mixture into the bottle itself. After I finish squeezing that up into the nose, I take my additional mixture that I had left over into my cup and I soak my gauze pads in it. After the gauze pads are soaked, I open them up like so and I put them together and twist them into a nice long gauze um, packing. Now, some nares are a lot bigger than others, so you may have to fold this in half or use a four by four depending on the size of the nose. Some people you can use just this portion uh, and this will be enough gauze, and then you slowly insert that into the nose or you can use a bayonet forcep to do the insertion for you. Lastly, I let the patient sit for a good 30 to 40 minutes. 15 minutes really doesn't cut it, they often re-bleed. So, better be safe than sorry. Have the patient relax not move, get up, go to the bathroom, nothing like that, and have them just sit with the packing in their nose. And that way, they can have a chance to have all this triple threat do its thing. So remember, we have the lidocaine with epinephrine, our TXA, and our neosinephrine or afrin. Lastly, for our pro tip, we're gonna tell you to send the patient home with the bottle. Simply tell the patient that if the nose starts to re-bleed, to open up the bottle and do several squirts in both nose and then put some gauze or some cotton balls up into their nose. Then they can apply pressure on the nose and wait a few minutes until it stops bleeding. If this doesn't work, then they should return to the emergency department where we can help them with this. Or um, if they have significant amount of bleeding, they need to come back to the emergency department. Remember that this triple threat is effective because we have a combination of vasoconstriction and something that helps us keep the clot around a little bit longer.
Check it out.